Dan, what does that win mean last night? As of right now, the Cowboys are the best team in the NFC. To go Ooh. on the road and play a good football team mm. without your starting quarterback, you lose your left tackle and win that football game, you're the best team. You are the team to beat in the NFC right now. The way Cooper Rush stepped up and played competent football around the pieces and yep. just not hurting this football team so much and giving them the chance to win the game is a big deal. This game was run because of two things, turnovers, but really because the Cowboys defense – had to go on the field in sudden change situations yep. twice, right around midfield, and give up zero points. And then Ezekiel Elliott, a little bit of throwback play on that third and 11. This is old school Z, catch the football and just, I'm going to be bigger, better, and tougher than you are in that moment. Cowboys are the team to beat in the NFC. That was three things, but I'll, I'll allow yeah, it. Yeah, right. everybody's thunder. The defense. Let's That's talk about thoughts. you and the, yeah, all morning. The, how about that, Cowboys? How about that defense? That defense was ridiculous how good it was. And we knew going in, anytime you have, you're playing a backup quarterback, your backup quarterback, your defense has to step up. Mm -hmm. We've talked about it all year about how this defense is not the same defense it was last year. It's not. This is one of the fastest defenses in the league. We talk about Diggs. We talk about Van Der Esch. We talk about all these guys. How about talking about the uh, Randy, Randy Gregory. Gregory. Randy yeah. Gregory gets it a pass or pass than anybody in the league. You wonder why we know about all the, you know, uh, all his, his problems that he's had. This is why they kept keeping him. Yep. And now you're seeing the benefits of it. And, and to me, that's why Dan can make the statement he can because they're playing defense. The Dallas Cowboys showed that they're more than Dak Prescott. Sure. Right? We watched this team without Dak Prescott last year, and they couldn't score points. They couldn't even play defense. Mm -hmm. And now this team has taken a step up. I'm going to be honest. I picked the Minnesota Vikings before Dak Prescott was out. It wasn't about a bum calf. It wasn't about not having your quarterback. I didn't believe that they could stop the Minnesota Vikings, and they did that. Michael Parsons is an absolute superstar. And it's crazy that we talked about it so much early on in the season – and now we've gotten away from it. Last night he lined up in four different positions, right? And even when you look at Trayvon Diggs, he didn't make the huge play, but he stopped, he stopped giving up the big play, right? He stopped giving up yardage. He made plays throughout the entire night. And then you look at a guy like Cooper Rush. He said, you know what? I'm going to let my playmakers around me make plays. This is an un-Dallas Cowboys-like win. Yeah. And if you're this team, you have to feel good going forward. It's two wins in a row that they never get in years past. Yeah. The, the New yeah. England game before the bye and now this one. And it does beg a question, Rex. You know, the calf is something you're going to deal with. The division is something to keep an eye on. If you're the coach of the Cowboys, are you giving some thought to keeping Dak in the bullpen, if you will, as long as this thing keeps rolling? Yeah, I mean, you have to. If he's not healthy, you don't put him out there. And, and this was almost like you got a game in hand now. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. nobody you're thought you were going to win that. Hey, listen. It's house money. And so, to me, that's why, yes, unless Dak is 100%, don't put him out there. Hey, listen, Greeny, I had a homeboy, right? Yeah. And every time we go out, he'd be like, RC, there's this girl. She really likes me. And every now and then, he'd lose that girl. You know why? Why? Because he'd go chase other girls. And he'd always be like, RC, a bird in the hand. It's better than two in the yeah, bush. Yeah, yeah. Right now, the Dallas Cowboys have a bird in the hand. And it is. So be extremely – it's Cooper Rush. Oh, yeah. Be extremely smart about what you do with Dak Prescott because you don't want to lose You're that girl idiot. that was talking to you when you first walked in the club <laughs> looking for other girls. Uh, how do I come after that? I, I, just, I, I think that – um, when it comes to Dak and the calf, if he's going to tell you that I'm good enough to play and the doctors are going to say, okay, the rest has done its job, then they're going to play Dak Prescott. I thought they made the right yeah, decision. Yeah, but don't, don't you think it's telling, though, that Dak Prescott was able to say, you know what, I don't feel right. Absolutely. Not, you know and what I'm saying? I, I thought that's – I said going into the game, to, if you go on the road, he does not play and you lose – the season is still ahead of you. If you go into that game he plays and you lose him, your season is many ways yeah, over. over. They have yep. Denver and Atlanta the next two weeks. I, I, are those two games you could it, win with Cooper Rush? Maybe would, they are. You could win those two games with, with Mike Greenberg. That, that's what I'm with saying. With that defense. Uh, thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.